Hello everybody and welcome back to the Robert Cheek Show. I'm your host, Robert Cheek, where your personal best happens every day. I'm out here at the Raw and Living Spirit Festival in Moala, Oregon. It's near Portland, maybe 30, 40 minutes out of town. And uh, I just came off stage saying a few things. We just got underway here. A lot of people here, Dr. Doug Graham is here. Uh, Kevin Gianni is here. In fact, the two of them are speaking right now. We're gonna go duck in and listen to a few words from them. And uh, let's see, Victoria Botanko and her daughter, Valia. And Gabriel Cousins is coming later. Just a lot of people. John Kohler's here, buddy of mine. And uh, it's gonna be a good time. So I'm out here, um, just outside of Portland, out in the woods. And we're gonna go ahead inside one of these little uh, meeting areas, I guess, where they're giving some presentations. And I'll be here all weekend. This is Thursday, and this thing finishes on Sunday. So I've got four days here at the Raw Food Retreat, or Raw Food and Living Spirit Festival, uh, is what it's called. So. Uh, I spoke here two years ago, did my Thrive on a Plant-Based Diet talk, and it was great. And now I'm doing that talk tomorrow. I've got about a two-hour window, so there'll be a lot of uh, discussion, I'm sure, after about an hour and 20-minute presentation about thriving on a plant-based diet, talking about thriving rather than just getting by, because I'm sure in every area of life, we would much rather thrive than just get by. And I talk about how to do that as far as fitness, health, well-being, and personal development all combined into one. So we'll talk about that, about taking action and making it happen, thriving on a plant-based diet. And I'm also doing the fitness classes bright and early, six o'clock in the morning. So I'm actually out here checking out some of these trails uh, because I've got to be on those later on. So um, I've got to, oh, I've got plenty of time before it gets dark. So I'll walk around and see what kind of trails I can run on and what kinds of maybe obstacle courses and activities I can do for the fitness stuff. So we'll get in on that. But for now, let's, uh, let's head in and, and see if we can catch a few minutes what's going on. So just uh, hang with me for a few moments and I'll have to be quiet pretty soon because the, the talk's already going on. So uh, there we go, just around the corner. All right. I'll show you what, where we're at here. It's my car, just parked over there. Nice parking spot right up front. Oh, I got it. Getting pretty old there, but we have some Vega, Vega stickers. I've got a gluten-free car. Nice. Okay, here we go. Let's see what's going on. Valuable person that we should be learning from. That's good. Education is good. 
But there's also indicators in other types of, of um, other types of things that we can look towards and say, hey, you know, maybe this person does know what they're talking about because they've experienced it and they look or feel or doing something that we truly want to believe in. So that's that's what I think is 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 the, is the educator. I know that, that and this this really ticks me off is that there is at least one or two people that I've seen in the entire health world who are using credentials improperly, and that to me really gets me fired up. I mean, that, you know, if you're in, if you're a computer science PhD, you can't put doctor in front of your name on a page that's dedicated to health. You know, that's ridiculous. But I've seen it. And so I don't associate with that group of people. But, you know, that's something that we need, we do need to be very, very, very considerate about. All right. Dr. Doug Brand. You know, I was just talking in my talk over here about ideal versus situational. And we've had a talk about Candida. Anyone here want to hear about Candida at all? All right, cool. You guys know what Candida is? Great. So I'd like you to briefly run over your thoughts on Candida in a minute, in a minute and a half. But I also, just if you can, explain some of the very specific distinctions that you made with me in terms of <laughs> where we reach you know, where, where, where something works and when something may not. I'll give you three minutes. <laughs> no, no, it will even take a minute. Um, essentially, what we're looking for is the optimum health that a person can achieve at any given time. That is, that is allowable. That, that is possible based on essentially two factors. The two factors being their own unique individual vitality at any given time, which is the sum past of their history, including genetics, and the substances, forces, influences, and conditions that they're supplying themselves with currently. If you take a man with no arms and no legs and give him just amazing food, he's not gonna run a four minute mile. It's just, I don't care what food you give him. Food is not the answer, the be all end all to all of our questions. We love to think it is. Come on, runners love to think running is the be all and end all to all of our fitness problems. And the yoga people think yoga is the answer to all, all of that. And, and, and on through the various things, you know, the weightlifters tell us how running is a waste of time, and the, and the meditators tell us that really none of all that matter, food and fitness, none of that really matters as long as you do your meditation every day. It's not really up to me to say, uh, but we tend to like that. In fact, it's been shown that, that all people on the planet, just people in general, will tend to come to defend whatever diet they're on within two years of being on it. They'll tend to defend it and start to think of it as the best diet, the most tasty diet, and the whole world. All right, so you got a little taste of Kevin Gianni and Dr. Doug Graham, what they're doing is they gave individual presentations and now what they're doing is uh, opening it up to questions for each other. They ask each other questions and the audience listens in and participates as they, as they wish. So uh, anyway, out here at the camp, this is just the parking lot, so it's actually the least cool spot of the place in the whole uh, property. But uh, a lot of trees out there, as you can see, um, trails and things like that. So, um, uh, lots of different uh, cabins. There's one behind me, uh, off to my left, off to my right. There's cabins. We have streams and a little waterfall over there and um, open fields. Some people are camping outside in tents. We'll have, um, at least last time I was here, two years ago, a drum circle and there's community meals. There's a couple hundred people out here. We'll all eat together, hang out together, um, not just socialize in our own little niche, but get to meet new people and with people from all over. Um, I just was in a group today. 12 or 15 of us, maybe it was more, 20, all getting to know each other, and we were from all over the country. So, um, anyway, this is, a. Uh, ooh, we're really running out of time. So, this has been the Robert Cheek Show. Uh, thanks again for watching. Uh, we'll do a lot of videos from out here, but this has been the Robert Cheek Show, where your personal best happens every day. Get out there and get it.